Their mom, Kimberly Singler, and 11-year-old sister were also injured. It was the 19th of December, 2023, around 12.30 in the night, when the officers at the Colorado Springs Police Department received a call for a burglary that allegedly took place at an apartment complex located in Palomino Ranch Point. The officers responding immediately reached the scene only to find out something truly horrific. The house belonged to 35-year-old Kimberly Singler, whose nine-year-old daughter and seven-year-old son were found dead at the scene. Singler and her 11-year-old daughter were also injured as well. Both of them were instantly provided first aid by the Colorado Springs Fire Department and AMR. Then they were rushed to the hospital. Obviously, the adult in the situation, Singler, was treated as a victim and a key witness to the burglary. What the police didn't know was that she was the one behind the crime. That is why the police allowed her to leave the hospital when she had somewhat recovered, only to find out that this mother was not innocent at all. That's not all. She even ran away while investigations were ongoing. After not much long, the cops found out that the burglary had never happened in the first place. The most shocking part uncovered was that Singler was a prime suspect in the double murder. And soon enough, there was an arrest warrant for her. But who was Kimberly Singler? Singler was born in Colorado in 1988. She completed her schooling in 2006 and reportedly has a bachelor's degree. Although little is known about her profession, some sources suggest that she has worked as a custom shop technician since 2010. She had been married to Kevin Wentz, but the couple ended up filing for divorce back in 2018. And it was only in 2020 that it was finalized, but the court battle was far from over. Because Singler was also going through a long custody battle over the custody of her children for almost four years, they had been in court over parenting time and other issues related to the children. That's not all. Allegedly, she was days away from losing her children. A Larimer County judge had previously approved a custody plan giving Singler full custody of the children with Wentz allowed visitation. Supposedly, there was some trouble back in September of 2023 when Wentz was over for a child handover and he allegedly threatened Singler with a knife. But the Colorado Springs Police ruled otherwise because for one, there was no evidence and secondly, Wentz had denied the allegations as well. Then came their last disagreement. On December 16, 2023, Singler didn't bring the kids to the designated location. Wentz, through his lawyer, sought immediate possession, claiming custody agreement violation. The court ordered Singler to bring the kids to their father on December 16, but she didn't comply. An emergency motion was filed on December 18, and the court ordered the children to be brought to Laramie County Court on December 20th but the kids were found deceased on the 19th. So obviously the situation was pointing out how Singler was a major suspect, apart from other evidence that hasn't been made public yet. At first she maintained the facade of being cooperative with the police, but as soon as she saw her chance, she disappeared while the investigation was still ongoing. She was able to do so as Despite being the primary suspect, she was not under surveillance. The last time she was seen was in Colorado Springs at a relative's place on December 23rd. Residents of her local neighborhood were left shocked after learning about the sudden disappearance as well as murders. According to sources, Singler had been residing in a condo with a relative for over six months. Witnesses have reported that Singler was the daughter who also lived in the house and they had not been seen for a while. Furthermore, the grandmother who owns the condo has also mysteriously vanished. On December 26, investigators established probable cause leading to an arrest warrant for multiple charges. The charges include two counts of murder in the first degree, 
one count of criminal attempt, murder in the first degree, two counts of child abuse, one count of child abuse, and one count of assault in the first degree. Her bond has been set for $10 million. Since Ms. Siegler was able to escape, the officials left no wills unturned in order to look for her. A joint effort involving the Colorado Springs Police Department, the FBI, and other agencies was set out to look for her so she couldn't harm her daughter, who had survived and was in the hospital for recovery, as well as to bring her to justice. For a long time, the authorities could not apprehend her as she had been on the run for nearly two weeks. After endless chases, reports have revealed that on the 31st of December, 2023, she was allegedly arrested in the United Kingdom, which was thousands of miles away from her home in the U.S., and was immediately taken into custody. A spokesperson for the Colorado Police Department has announced that Singler's 11-year-old daughter has been safe and accounted for in the Colorado Springs area. More details about the arrest are yet to be revealed. I hope justice is served. This will end my video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for listening.